Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. You're back with Dead Deck, and today we're playing some more Timberborn. So, in our last episode, or in our first episode, should I say, we've got a little bit of farming set up. We've got some houses set up. We've got a grill set up over this way. We've got some, um, well, we're going to be getting some science in today's episode, I hope. Um, yeah, the inventor over there, when one of these children matures, they're going to start getting me some science in. I've got a feeling we're going to need more than one of these. Excuse me. So, I'm just going to plop down one more. We are actually working on building a dam up over this way. Don't like the fact that that isn't a road. I want the road to go all the way around, please. Am I going to have to tell them to plant these crops again? Kinda no. I made a boo-boo. Anything that's been harvested already. Leave it harvested for now. I want carrots to be here because they've got an indent where the farmhouse is. And I want the potatoes to go over here. Yeah, a little bit of OCD. What's going off here? Building is full. Hmm. You know what? A thousand capacity. Holy Christ. I kind of like the fact food's coming in at the minute. I think I'm going to build another warehouse. Yeah. Let's um, let's get another warehouse on the go there. We, we absolutely need this food coming in. Uh, let's put that on high priority. Our logs don't seem to be coming in quite so quick anymore. We need more workers. And we kind of need a forester, so the uh, the trees can get popping up as quickly. You know what I can do? Let's put a little log pile. Let's put it this side of the road so it doesn't encroach on this. Not a lumber mill. Makes planks from logs. Cool, 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 cool. Let's have two more of those up this way. Um, I don't want a lumberjack flag. I keep messing this up. Let's do that. We want to chop all of these trees down. Now, these shouldn't be in range of these. Yeah, they're not. They're not really in range of these trees either, to be honest with you. But I don't want those guys up there coming to chop these trees down here either way. Did you get that wet? Oh, my God. God, the lightning fast. Um, I can't copy from here, can I? I cannot. Well, no books. No explosives. No gears. Uh, no metal blocks. No paper. I assume that says planks. No scrap metal. This is just going to be all for food again. At least that's what I'm trying to do with it. We've got loads of food. Maybe maybe I've gone too ham with the food. I've gone too ham. Maybe I'm going to have to have my food storage down here eventually. And this will have to be different storage. Again, I don't know. We've got five children at the minute. Every single household. Nearly. Has got a child. Why has nobody moved out into this one yet? Oh yeah, we wouldn't have that many. Never mind. Never mind, they've not grown up enough yet. Builders lacking. Oh, drought coming in three days. You know what? Bump these up to high priority, please. We've only got two logs, so that's not going to go very well. I like the water effects, though. That's dead cool. It's a shame I didn't have enough time to build the dam. It would have been good to get that all going. Again, though, being short on workers, it's not good. More lumberjacks. We've got an inventor going at the minute. How about we pause this one for now? Excuse me. It does tell me that it's uh, paused above. See, the first time I had a drought come in, I thought, well... I've got plenty of water, because I had like four or five of these. I thought, I've got plenty of water, I'll be fine. None of this is irrigated. Absolutely none of it. So, if it's not irrigated, then obviously the ground is going to go to crap. As you will see in 2.3 days. Let's 
wondering what that did. I don't know why you'd play this game without the water on. It's a game about beavers and dam building. Of course you want the water on. We need more lumberjacks. Come on. Come and get these worked, please. Well, to be fair, even if it does all get desolated like this, then... Resources, two logs. Two logs. You only get two logs per tree? Surely you could get more than that. It's watered and alive. Well, that's going to change shortly. Come on, get the dam built. Again, don't know if the dam being built will actually help or anything like that. We can leave the wheat growing. But this is all about to get crushed anyway. I've got loads of potatoes. And, you know, actually, I shouldn't really be wasting the logs on... Um, a dam. I should be saving it in case I need it for, you know, like cooking more potatoes. Although we've got loads of grilled potatoes at the minute. We'll be fine. Just chop it up. The, they've still got the focus for potatoes. That's why they're harvesting potatoes. Yes. Yes. I've got more lumberjacks so we can get more wood in more quicker. Why are they taking it all the way down to that why don't they just store it right here or is it the dudes in the center here taking it all that way it might be the dudes carrying it all the way down there if that's the case then I haven't really got a problem with it but I just don't see why they wouldn't leave the wood up here until it's necessary to move it one day until the drought. We've got one more. Can we get 20 logs to get this finished? It'd be amazing if we could. And then I can actually see. Look at it. You can see the, the current in it and everything. Now, this isn't completely meant to stop water, as it says. Um, let me show you. It's just a dam. Blocks water, but allows them to pass through a spillway at the top. Not until we get to like a levee, or a floodgate, or a double floodgate, or a triple floodgate. They're the ones that actually stop water. As in, like, proper proper walls. We've got some carrots coming in there. Happy days. You've got half a day to get four more logs in. Cool, 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 cool. So, we've actually got... Essentially, a working dam up and running. Nice, 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 nice. Get rid of all these because I'm going to replant them. Um, carrots. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should just go to there. They won't do planting. And like I say, this is all about to get wiped away. Beavers are happier than they've ever been before. What are we lacking materials for? Oh, we're lacking potatoes. Well, you shouldn't have cooked them all so quick then, should you? I don't actually need somebody working in there at the minute, do I? Just, just pause that one as well. If there's no potatoes, then obviously we don't need anybody working in there. I'm kind of concerned I might not have got enough water. Drought started. Does the water stop flowing or... You'll see it come in a second. Here comes the drought. No, so the dam actually does nothing. Oh, the dam does do something. Shut my mouth. It keeps water in here. <gasps> yes. I shouldn't have been quite so stupid and I should have built it a bit further down. It keeps all the water at this level. So my farms haven't died off. All the trees have. That sucks. Cool. Oh, we need to unpause this one. Um, I guess there's no reason to have this pause then, even though there is no potatoes. Mm, yeah, I should should probably change that, shouldn't I? So eventually, do we need to move to the higher ground and flood the lower areas with dams? Is that, is that what you want, game? Um, I need more houses. Oh, 
I did that perfectly. Unintentionally. Um, give me a road. Let's go right there and right there. A district gate. Separates districts. I'm wondering about, do we need a district gate at the top of this section here? Because I don't know about having different districts. Hmm. Hmm. So really, if I'd have had a dam across here, all up here would be full with water still? Kind of, sort of, maybe? I just want to get these fields sorted and then we can really start doing stuff well. It's not much of an excuse, is it? There we go, that's sorted out. Um, what do we need next then? That needs power, then we can get a... Well, actually, we need loads and loads of research. So maybe... Another couple of these. Plant trees. Blueberry. You need to unlock Forester to plant blueberry. Mm, food. Woods. Forester is 60 research. Let's unlock that then. And I would like a forestry doodah. To be fair, right there. And then I unlock all of these. So, uh, gives us one log takes nine days. Gives us two logs takes 12 days. Gives us eight logs takes 24 days. We probably want a nice variety of each of these. So let's have... All this side is one loggers. What is wrong with that spot right there? That is a pine seedling. I don't know how that's still growing. It is dying. Um, anywho. Let's get some birch trees in. I don't want many of the maple. Just so you all know. Let's have maple in like all of that area around there. Let's bring the road further down. And then right at the back here, we can have a few of these. All these woodcutters reach that far. Not quite. These two right here, they won't be able to reach. That better. Need to chop the next row off as well. Oh, clicked on a dude. And really, we need another dam further down. So this doesn't all just die off. Um, do I want to get building another dam? Is that important? But we're obviously going to survive this drought. You know what? I don't want the trees coming into the town like this. This can be like my forestry zone where I can actually keep woodcutters and stuff let's make that a high priority we need planks right that gives us something else to do then doesn't it um, paper mill forestry lumber mill so do I want my industry to come back this way let's go like that Let's get the road coming through. Let's get power. A beaver operated backup source of power. I'm hoping I can put that there. Has it just got to go into the building somehow, some way? So for now, that can go like that. That's probably a bit excessive with how far the range is on that, but I mind. 
Holy Christ, they built that lightning fast. Building needs power to operate, can't connect it to power grid. They need 50 logs for that. Well, we've got the logs. It's not like we've not, so let them get doing what they do. Let's get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of that. I mean, realistically, we'd probably want to build a dam all the way across this to keep all of this good. But to be fair, I'm probably just going to build a dam. Do I want to build it diagonal across there? Will that not look stupid? I think better would be across there. I don't know if I can build it across there. Landscaping. I mean, we can double up on it, can we not? It does say solid there. Other buildings can be built on its top. So I thought maybe I'd better build more dam on top of it. How do they even get down there, to be honest with you? Um, I know there are wooden stairs here. I've got the science. Let's unlock it. Let's have some stairs going down there. For now, I'm not going to build all of this. I want to see if they build this next. Uh, obviously, we've got no power at the moment. Hey, there we go. Beavers can walk down into water, right? They can swim in water. We've got somebody unemployed. Ooh. Ooh. Look at all that food as well. Ooh, look at that lack of water. Um, can we have a small water tank? Another one? Let's get this on high priority. Um, do we need another water pump at this point? I wish it'd give me some graphs so it said how much water we're generating and how much is being consumed. I think we're getting to the point where another water pump's going to be good. But that number seems to be flying up, and there doesn't seem to be anybody that's thirsty. So, let's leave it for now. I guess we've got some planks on the way in. No, we've got some wheat. Now we've got planks on the way in. Um, I could take out all of that, 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 that. You've done a good job, lads. That was loads of food. I actually don't think we need to grow any more food for a little while. I just don't want to stop. I'd rather them just keep growing the food. That water's now plummeting. We're going to need another water pump. Why can I not place one there? Oh, the bloody berries. Stupid. You can't flip these round, can you? Water dump discharges water. Excuse me. Now, I was hoping you better mirror this as well. You cannot mirror this. So I need to take out like all of these resources right here. Get them marked. Oh, no. Mark for destruction. My bad. There we go. And planting is done. Go away. You are going to be carrots right there. Did I just put potatoes again? One, two, three, one, two, three. They're potatoes. Carrots. They're carrots. No, these do want to be pota Oh my god. There, fine. We're sorted, I think. Alright, so we've got planks coming. Eh, uh, the forester. 
Now, don't tell me you're going to grow trees absolutely everywhere. It's only going to be in these areas, please. Because otherwise that's going to be a bit of a nightmare. That looks awesome. <laughs> Obviously, the water is mostly getting blocked up back here. But it's nice that it's letting some of it through. Do I really need that dam right there if I'm having this one down here? I don't know. I don't really think so, but... Right, this, this needs to be set to a higher priority. Lads, you need to get this shop down, like right now, so I can build another water pump. Otherwise, we're all going to start dying. I've got four people unemployed. Mm -mm. Is there any bigger lumberjack flags than this? No. How many people work in the forest? Though? Just the one. That's pine. Why is it called a pine leftover? Surely it'd be a stump. And surely they're going to plant trees in these areas anyway. They go like that. So this is birch there. Why have I got birch everywhere? Birch is meant to go this side. Pine is meant to go this side. God damn it. How do I keep messing this up? Well, it looks like them trees are there for the period now, doesn't it? And then the maple at the top there. Just checking that they are indeed maple. They are indeed maple. Construction lacks materials. Eh, it's getting there. And you're running out of logs as well. It's unfortunate. There's no way for me to put a cap on how many logs we make. Uh, planks we make, right? I don't really need planks anymore. We are going to need a warehouse of some sorts over this way. Yeah, I was going to say about your storing bloody planks in there, aren't you? Mm, slightly annoying. Look at all the research I've got. Holy Christ. Give me this. 60 logs and 80 planks. Well, that's going to be going there. High priority, please. I guess until these grow. It's um, going to take a very while. I've still got four people unemployed. Nobody's homeless, but they are getting close to being. I'd like to move up this way, but how? How do we get water to come up this way with us? Explosives from paper. I don't think I want explosives to be made. Storage, labour, hauling post. Oh, I, I could probably do with a hauling post, to be honest with you. Distribution post, drop-off points, housing, water. Irrigation tower, depth marker. Must be on ground, irrigates land around it. Maybe that's what we need next. Large water tanks, small water tanks. They hold 300, that is ridiculous, and they take loads of planks, they take planks as well. Seems like we're going to need masses and masses of planks. This is probably a good shot for what we need next. 
doesn't take loads of logs, doesn't take loads of planks, and then I'll be able to put that up here. And actually, I may make a massive forestry village up here, because this is... It, it'll, it'll suffice, it'll do what we need it to do, but... I think, I think up here we need to have a massive wood centre. Get loads of it coming in. Right, this is what I wanted to try with the housing. So if I do that, and do that, then we can get two houses stacked on top of each other. Without, like, loads of foundations and stuff, I don't see how I'd be able to do this any other way, but it just means I'm going to be able to double the amount of houses I've got here. Um, I'd say food's running out, but really, no, it's not. The carrots are on the way in again. Maybe we can't get any batteries or anything. That'd be cool. We don't really need more planks. If anything, I just need trees to grow faster. Uh, don't prioritise anything. Just get it all planted, please. I am concerned as to why you've only got that much planted at the minute. Ugh, I know what I forgot to do. Another water pump. Oh, sugar. That can go right there. You need to be mega high priority. What am I doing with priorities at the minute? Um, this needs to be low. Just fill that up when you've got time to fill it up. As in put resources into it. You know what I mean. It does take a fair while to plant trees. I'll let you off then, little dude. I'll let you off. Um, we're now getting people dying of old age, which it's kind of expected. <clears throat> they're uh, they're not immortal. They are only beavers. God damn it! I thought we had more time with our first ones. See, this is why I didn't want to name people. I actually have not really been naming buildings either, to be honest. Starting with three berries. You know what? Let's put more people in there because we've got a few that's idle. Let's actually... Wood. Forester. Go like that. path come all the way down here we are going to need another district centre I think districts must be separated by a gate so let's destroy this and have a district gate there this building isn't connected to any path I thought that was going to happen it's fine that can go away, that can go away, that can go away. Eee. Now, will they share food between districts is my question. Because if not, then this is going to need its own farm, which is probably going to come up this way. But I'd rather not have multiple farms. Surely you can share food. But yeah, this is going to need its own district centre. Um, we were doing that like this. Slap it next to it, because I'm probably going to have another forester this side as well. I want them planting trees, like, now. Workers too. Mm, no beavers have been employed in this district. From Stevens Center to sh this will be Shifo Center eventually. Nope, they don't share food or anything. Oh, why would you not share food? I don't like that. 
There's got to be a way. Like what's... Um, where was I looking? Labour. Employs additional builders. Extends its range by building paths. It distributes goods to other districts. That's a distribution post. Receives goods from other districts. Drop off point. Maybe we don't want this now. Maybe. We get rid of that. We put that there. Get rid of that. How about we get one of these builders huts? And expand its range. Like, where does this district go to? It gets to about there, but then it gets kind of annoyed. Put a builder's hut right there. I'm hoping that's going to then expand the range all the way up to here. Um, this still hasn't been built. Because we ran out of logs. It didn't help that I swapped all this out for actual trees. Because this is now taking quite a while. And with no extra logs coming in, it is a problem. It is a problem indeed. I could have probably just gone straight across here. It'd have been about the same difference, I guess. Priorities. Uh, this doesn't really need to be a priority at the minute. Nor does this. But I want this doing before this big warehouse. And to be honest with you, I don't really want you making logs at the minute. Planks at the minute. I don't need planks at the minute. I need actual logs. Hmm. Can we destroy all of this down here? Just because we're going to get a little bit of food from it and a little bit of wood. At least I think we're going to get a little bit of wood from it. <clears throat> I don't know how nobody's started dying yet. We've got six unemployed workers. Yeah, no, you don't get wood from it. Fair enough, fair enough. I could have more water generation up here, but I'm trying to keep it all into like different districts and keeping it all divided up and whatnot. We are actually at time. Ugh. Them woodcutters there have got absolutely nothing to do. 83%. They're so nearly grown. In the next day or two, we will start getting wood in again. And then we can get water coming in. And then people aren't going to die. Food, I think we're going to be fine for. This is going to suffice. We can then get our bigger forestry area up this way. Science is coming in at a nice pace. Maybe we need some more leisure and stuff. I don't know. I, I, I don't know where to expand first, if I'm being completely honest with you. Blocks water completely. I've got to look at it. Oh, so this would be built underneath and then we'd have this on top. That made very little sense. Like in this area, we'd have the levee at the bottom, and then we'd have this on top, so water still came through. But then it'd keep all this going. I see, I see. You, you can't mass delete as far as I'm aware, so... Um, but I can't exactly put a levee, like, there... These are going to need to get deleted, you know. Because otherwise it's going to cut the water off all the way down to this way. And these need to be deleted. Yes, I know that is a massive waste of wood. Yeah, the levees are going to have to go down at the bottom there. And then the dam part's going to have to go on the top there. And we need to get that done before the next drought. So we really need to work on the forestry next time and get that sorted. Anyway...
that's where we're going to leave off for today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see some more or comments and feedback. Greatly appreciated, as always. And in the description below is a few links if you'd like to take a look. Most important one being the community Discord. We can watch these episodes live as they're being recorded. And there's just a nice group of people to talk to. Come have a look. Come see what you think. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.